Capricorn, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for April 2018. Now, Capricorns, people have been asking for it, and I'm ready to respond. We have got a summer session, in fact, two of them, um, happening in June with the Astrology 101 course. You can take the AM or the PM session. All of the details are in the description box down below. So if you've been looking and needing to study astrology, but you need it in the summertime, these are definitely your sessions. All right, Capricorn. So coming into April, we're starting off with retrograde energy. We've got Jupiter retrograde. We've got Mercury retrograde. This month, both Saturn and Pluto will go retrograde and in your sign. Plus your sign is just very busy this month. So we've got a lot going on for the Capricorn energy. Starting off here though with this mercury that is retrograde in the sign of aries giving some life giving some re-evaluation to your fourth house now aries energy wants to do one thing at a time so your house may be very busy you may be looking at multiple places maybe you want to move maybe you're like oh i want to redecorate inside of my house and and you can't figure out which room to start in whatever it is the fourth house is about home family real estate property investment properties your emotional foundation all of these things are getting a re-look over a rethink a re-edit and a revision with mercury being retrograde so as we come into the month i wouldn't be surprised at all if you're kind of thinking where do i put my feet right like what is my solid foundation you may be resetting it right now so no worries with that now on the second of the month we've got mars in a conjunction with um, Saturn, your ruling planet, right here in your sign. It's in your first house. Now, sometimes these two energies can, can be a little bit rough together, but this particular time, because they are in your sign, and your sign is about achievement, let's take these resources, this energy, and do something with it. They're actually on very good behavior with each other. Um, very, very useful. You're able to initiate some things if you want to put something out there. If you want to get out there, maybe even you're wanting to dress or present yourself differently. This is a wonderful energy for that. Now, between the 4th and the 5th, we're going to see Mercury, who is still retrograde at this point, coming into a square with this Mars-Saturn conjunction that's happening. Now, because Mars is over here in the 4th house and it's squaring, the square says, I want immediate response and action. So it will evoke movement, determination, action, motion from you. You could be seeing yourself in a little bit of anger, depression, Depression, um, pressure in your fourth house zone, something about how you're showing up or something about how you're participating in this particular home family property area may need to come to the next level because that's what this energy is about. Regardless of how it feels, what it's trying to do is getting you to grow up come to the next level and it's neat because ultimately what it's all about is the determination getting you to move towards whatever the goal is whatever it is you're trying to get done it stimulates sexuality it stimulates creativity it stimulates your desire to succeed so it's a very good energy even if it can feel a little heavy now I think it continues to stay supported by having right here on the 14th Jupiter who's over in Scorpio come into a sextile with Pluto who's here in Capricorn right in your sign. Now a sextile is an energy that says there's a talent or an opportunity or an availability but you will usually do something intelligent with it and make it work. So with this sextile when the planets have sex that's good for us. So something that could be happening is you've got uh, Jupiter here in the 11th house and you've got Pluto over here in the first house. You may need to be realigning with a new tribe or a new group of people or getting out into the social world differently or aligning with a cause or a belief, something bigger. You're ready to move your name, move your energy behind maybe one of these causes or the new long range goal for your life. Things are certainly, certainly changing. Now, on the 15th of the month, we have got Mercury coming out of retrograde and coming direct. And just because he's direct doesn't mean he's in full blast yet. You've got to give him a week or two. And keep in mind that Mercury doesn't leave its shadow time until May 3rd. So even though it is direct, it's not all the way over, but things will get a 
heck of a lot better over here in your fourth house. At the same time, it's sharing energy with this new moon happening in Aries. So just really a breath of fresh air and forward movement coming to your housing situation. Maybe you've even, even been waiting to hear about your housing for your vacation or a foreign travel that you're getting ready to go on. You've been trying to figure out all of the details around that and now they're solid. Whatever it is, you've got a fresh start, new movement happening in this fourth house area for you. On the 17th is when Saturn goes retrograde. On the 22nd is when Pluto goes retrograde, both being in your sign. They are subtle energies. But what happens is, is that when Saturn goes retrograde, we get a break from all of the discipline. But ideally, what's happened is Saturn has shown you since December the cracks in how you're showing up, the cracks in your beliefs about yourself, the cracks in your ego, the cracks in how you are perceived or not perceived, seen or not seen and now that he's going to go retrograde and take a nap you can take action to initiate yourself out there differently so that you can fill in the cracks build a more solid foundation for Saturn to help you achieve on and the same is very much so true with Pluto right we want to use this Pluto energy to clear out old ideas clear out old behaviors clear out old hurts clear out your physical house maybe you need that because some travel could definitely be on the way whatever it is it's time for the old Capricorn to die off so the new version can live. And what do you need to get rid of to do that? You cannot fly high if you're held down by baggage. So let's get some things let go. On the 19th, the sun joins Venus over in Taurus, lighting up your fifth house. We could certainly have some romance here. Um, this is exciting, even if it's just, um, you know, romantic conversation. I think too, even if it's just a text message or something, there could be some romance definitely on the table. This energy is wonderful for children. It's good for investments as well. So if you're looking at your portfolio or any of your securities, um, this is a wonderful energy on this date or around this date. That will depend on your personal chart to see if you can make some movement here. On the 24th of the month, Venus takes a move and goes on into Gemini, into your sixth house. This is great if you do anything freelance, if you are having problems with coworkers, whatever the situation is, this helps to put a little bit of honey on there, a little bit of salve to make things a lot more diplomatic and workable. This can also usher in a workplace romance. So if that's not something you're interested in, just be mindful, it could be coming on the way. Now on the 29th, we've got the full moon happening at six degrees of Scorpio in your 11th house, making a really positive aspect to a Sun-Saturn trine, which this energy is just great for getting things done, getting into that new group, socializing with a group, aligning with a group, getting your social media stuff up to date, um, being in social media yourself, maybe if you haven't been as present, maybe that's what Saturn's showing you, we haven't seen you as much. This will help you get out there in a different kind of way that is ultimately very, very beneficial to moving forward. You may just need to acknowledge the adjustment that the full moon is trying to bring to you at this time. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens for you, Capricorn. Please keep me posted in the comment section down below. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next month. Bye, Cap.